everybody. This is our week five video for our Dana and Tommy letter. Um, one thing to cover first, I sent all you guys an email out this morning. Uh, please make sure you've read that. If you did not get an email from me, please let me know. Um, but anyways, so we are here with the puppies. You can see they are up playing. They are into everything. Um, I've got their little ribbons on them now because their coats are starting to really get thick so that you guys can see who is who. The only ones that might be a little confusing, this is Mr. Black and this is Mr. Brown. Um, the other ones, I think, I think you can pretty much see who is who. But they are super playful. I see you. I see you, little guy. Um, we have started them on the infant cereal this past week. Uh, which is kind of what we do with all of our puppies to transition them over to to the puppy mush so they're doing great with that uh, they will eat every bit of it so it won't be long they'll be on puppy food where they're uh, we kind of tell them, tell them, tell them. puppy food where we kind of wet it down so that they uh, they can eat it but by the time they go home to you they will be eating solid puppy food um, we feed the Hills Science Diet, uh, so I posted that in the picture when we did the supply stuff. If you have any questions about that, come in, come in. Just let me know. Um, all right, so we've got the picking process will start after our next video. So what we do, um, we've got this video, where you can really see a lot of their little personalities are starting to come out. See them playing, see them interacting with each other, see how they interact with me. Then we'll have one more video next week. After that video is posted, then we'll start with our first pick. Once they pick their puppy, I will work my way down to second pick and let them know which puppies are still available and we'll go from there. So um, usually within a couple of days, all of the puppies, we know who's going where. Um, I'll keep you all informed. Um, and, and let you know. So if you have any questions about any of the puppies, when, whenever it's your turn to pick, let me know. I'll be more than happy to share that information with you. I told you guys, usually y'all can untie my shoes pretty quick. Oh, see, already. By next week, my shoes won't be tied more than about five seconds. You would think I would learn to buy shoes that don't have ties. Yes, you would. Um, they're doing really good with our socialization process. After next week, um, we will start Great training, so I uh, know your puppy will not be completely potty trained by the time they come home. We start the crate training at six weeks old so that they learn to hold it because with the puppy, they don't like to go to the bathroom um, where they're laying. So if they just have free reign all the time to just walk over here, go to the bathroom, and then come back and play, then that's what they're going to do. So we start at six weeks, very short periods where they're, they're just in the crates learning, okay, I hold it, and then there's a time when I can go out and go to the bathroom. Hey, y'all gonna knock my little fence over. I have to put my divider fence up in here so that they'd be all over the place if not. Um, so that's what we'll start next week. Um, also, at six weeks old, we will go for our first round of shots. <laughs> Tell them, Miss Yellow. Tell them. Go for our first round of shots. Uh, we'll also be microchips. We use the AKC Reunite microchip. So um, that'll be on your AKC papers. I'll go over all that with you guys at week seven so that you'll know, you'll know what to do. Um, when they go home, we'll have a puppy folder. We'll have all the information you need in it, um, all their vet records and everything. Can you tell my shoe? You want to tell my shoe? Is that you, Miss Yellow? Yes. Uh, but I, like I said, I'll go over all that at week seven. Um, all right, so y'all ready for the one by one? You ready for them to see you all by yourselves? All right, all right. Well, Mr. Blue, I don't think we've ever started with you, Mr. Blue. You want to you wanna go first? I am talking to you. I'm talking to you. Come back here. Come back here. Uh, Ms. Yellow, she's taking a little potty break. So that's just part of being with the puppies. Oops, excuse me. Clean up. All right. Um, so we'll start with you, Mr. Blue, if I can get a hold of you over here. Little active thing. Oh, come here. I see you. Oh, I see you. Still our little guy. Um, our three little puppies are, are blue, green, and orange. Um, 
They're doing good. They're gaining weight. This guy right here loves, sorry, is that better? Loves the infant cereal. Uh, to be so small, you would think that he would be just a big, big, big puppy because he loves to eat it. Yes, you do. I'm talking about you. But Mr. Blue is now three pounds, definitely one of our more active uh, puppies. He loves to play. You'll see when I put him down in a minute. He is just all over the place wanting to play, play, play. Hey, Weedle Guy. Well, come on. Hey. Hey, Weedle Guy. See, I'm just going to be a tiny guy. I'm just going to be a tiny guy. So this is Mr. Blue, really light coat, just a small guy, three pounds. Our next smaller guy is Mr. Green. Mr. Green is 3.2 pounds, so just a little bit, a uh, little bit bigger than Blue, but not, not enough to be able to tell. Um, he is definitely outgoing but not near as outgoing as mr blue uh, a little bit more laid back i'd say he's kind of in between um he's not as laid back as our most laid back male but not as active as our our, our most active and uh he doesn't like to eat as much as mr blue does mr blue will, will chow down on the infant cereal where he's more of a, a slow grazer i guess you could say but we let them eat. Um, we don't do the, the puppy sharing because uh, we want to make sure that each of them get the right amount of food. So it's not like the litter mates are, are eating and he's not getting anything. He's just, uh, just a smaller pup. But you sure are cute. Hey. Mm -hmm. So that's Mr. Green. All right, and now on the complete opposite side, size-wise and everything, is this guy. Oh, that's a big puppy dog. It's Mr. Black. Mr. Black is 6.8 pounds, and he's not the biggest. He has really, really grown a lot this week. Um, he's active, probably the most active male. Him and Blue are definitely the most active. Um, loves attention. Yes, you do. Loves to play, loves toys. You'll see him down here in a minute, all over the place. But check out these paws. Him and Mr. Brown are gonna be some big, big boys. So this is Mr. Black. Really light colored coat. Pretty boy. Pretty blocky boy. Yeah, like your daddy. All right. And one of our most laid back boys, right there. Oh. The big guy, the biggest puppy we have, seven pounds, Mr. Brown, Mr. Tommy Jr. Um, really, really laid back, probably why he's so big. Uh, he likes to play. You'll see him running around, but he likes to nap too. So he's play, 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 but then he takes his napping. Oh, so serious. Me too, buddy. I wish I could nap too. I wish I could nap too. Hey. Hmm. So this is Mr. Brown. Oh. Hey, big guy. Look at those paws. Look at those paws. You're gonna be so big. You're gonna be so big. Look at his tail. You like that. You wanna be a big boy? You wanna be a big, big boy? <laughs> All right, so that's Mr. Brown. All right, for our girls, where are you, little arms? You're probably running all around. There you go. You wanna show them how you play? Show them how you play? This girl's tail never stops wagging. She is just happy, happy, happy. Go, go, go. Go, 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 come on. <laughs> all right, so here's our little girl, same size as blue and orange. Uh, Miss Orange is 3.2 pounds. Like I just said, her tail wags constantly. She is always on the go. Um, anytime we're right here or, or look in their little puppy room, she is just bouncing from one side to the other. She loves to play. Yes, I do. Look at, see, you're looking down there. You think you're missing out on something, don't you? You think, what am I missing out on? She just wants to get down and play. And I'm glad with this video, you guys are able to actually see them up, moving around, because sometimes these videos are a hit or miss. They'll play, 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 but then 
I can promise you in about 15 minutes they will all be sound asleep. All right, so next in size um, is Miss Pink. Where are you, Miss Pink? Oh, you're eating your foot. You're eating your foot. All right, Miss Pink is 5.6 pounds. Um, I think we were talking last week that she seemed like um, more of our laid back girl. Her personality has really come out. Um, she's our, our little mischievous girl now. Um, she takes the toys and she'll try to get to the corner and hide them from the other ones. Yes, she will. But when we walk in, Miss Pink is the first one to greet us. Say, yes, I am. I want to see what's going on. I'm nosy. I love, love toys. Very toy, toy driven. So that's Miss Pink. She's got a really light colored coat, really thick coat as well. Really pretty girl. Oh, got okay. All right, next, um, where are you, Miss Purple? Oh. Miss Purple's trying to untie my shoe. Why do you want to untie my shoe? Huh? Why do you want to untie my shoe? So this is Miss Purple. She is six pounds, still loves to play with everyone, but it's starting to be a little bit more laid back. Her and Pink have kind of swapped roles, uh, where last week we thought Miss Purple would be a little more laid back, but Miss Pink's personality has really come out, and she likes to sit back and observe everything. She's not, not the first to go after when we introduce new toys and new sounds. Um, she's not the one to run towards it. She's not skittish or scared by any means. She just likes to sit back and uh, kind of see what's going on, kind of observe it before, before she approaches it. So that is Miss Purple. Seems to be one of our more laid back girls now. Yes, you are. All right. Where are you, yellow? Come here. Hello, orange. Are you playing? All right. Now, for our biggest girl, let's see if I can get back over here. I know that the layer is not great off that window, so hopefully the lighting's good. They're in their little playpen area. Um, but Miss Yellow is 6.2 pounds, still a mama's girl. Loves to be right next to her mama. Our most laid back female. Probably why you're one of the biggest and seems to be a, a going thing, huh? The bigger ones, y'all just are just lazy, aren't you? Just kind of lazy. <laughs> oh, don't bite them. Don't bite them. <laughs> That's the good thing about, um, I know that some breeders let the puppies go at, at six weeks old, uh, which is one of the worst things you can do because they learn so much uh, being around their litter mates. Like example right there. If one of them, they're playing, they play with their teeth. If they're playing too rough, they'll let each other know. And um, that's something that's really important. So um, that's why, you know, I get asked a lot, well, can I, can I get my puppy early? No, it is better for them to be around, around their litter mates. By the time they're six weeks and a few days, they'll no longer be around their mom. Um, they won't be nursing or anything like that. And they'll be on the puppy food. So, but it is still important that they, um, interact with each other and, and learn from each other. Um, so this is Miss Yellen. I think I covered everything with her. I'm going to put them down and see if you guys can't see them all play, see them interact with me. Come here. <laughs> Who wants to come to me? Who wants to come? <gasps> Whoa. Hello. See if I can't get everybody's, or get their little, little colors. This is Miss Yellow. Hey, Miss Orange. Green, pink. I'm over here. You don't want to come see? Well, so, well, Black, that's not nice. You're going to put a hole in my shirt. But um, they're doing good. Dana's doing really good. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, in the email, feel free to call me um, or send me an email. Uh, I'll be more than happy to talk to any of you guys. we still got one more week before we start our picking process. Oh, okay. Hey. But I do want you to just see them, see them play for just a minute. Um, I'm not, not going to talk a whole lot. Maybe you can see how they interact with each other. Come on, guys. What? What are you on me? Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mr. Blue. Oh, I got this for little puppy. Hey. Hey, Mr. Blue. You can get down and play. Say, I don't 
like being held all the time. I'm the cute little one, but I don't want to be held. I want to play. Hey, Graham. Purple. Are you sweeping? Are you sweeping? All right, guys. Well, um, this will be it for our week five video. Um, we will have one more video, like I said. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I will see you guys all back here next week.